the fact that I've been waiting for the Love is Blind Season 7 reunion to come on all day. I finally was able to get in the shower, get out, put my pajamas on. I go to sit down. I go to click it. Why it say it's not coming on till 8 o'clock? First, I thought it was 6 o'clock. Now, it's, are y'all pushing the times back? Because... Baby, y'all know the world is anticipating this reunion because we got to see what went down with Tyler and Ashley, Alex and Tim, Hannah, and what was his name? What was the boy name with Hannah? Leo? I don't know. Y'all listen. They playing with me so bad. So, Taylor and Garrett, I guess I'm trying to figure out, was this really America's favorite? Because they were not my favorite. I just, uh, Ashley and Tyler, this is what we came for. Yeah, we came for them. Definitely came for Marissa and Rams. Definitely want to see them. And they go Hannah. Definitely came for Hannah. And Nick, that was his name. His name was Nick. Post Steven at that sleep study and then monica yeah let's get into it and baby alex and where tim at and tim let's see what happened so this is really what america was waiting for well this is what i was waiting for he always looks so nervous like he looks so look at him he is nervous and y'all when i tell you yeah we trying to figure out what happened with those kids did Ashley know? Did she already know? That's really what we want to know. Because the whole world, like she said, chimed in and spoke on this man's situation. And we want to know. Did, he, did she know about the kids? I don't owe anyone, I don't owe anyone an explanation but my wife. Yeah, originally he was helping her, his friend. He talking about this family didn't sign up. You knew what you was getting yourself into before you came on this show. Like, when, once you got accepted on this show, be for real, Tyler. You knew what you signed up for. You were not going to be able to hide those kids, hide them from the world. No, nah, you wouldn't be able you No, know, the internet is too powerful. Anyways, look how she looking at him. She is standing by her man's side. Do you hear me? He's talking about he spent uh holidays with his friends and they kids and tyler stop dancing around the question the point of the matter is let's hear what ashley had to say i'm tired of i'm tired of talk i can't even get it i'm tired of tyler already has better insight on what's going on in social media or me girl stop because social media girl we found out I don't really know how to feel like that was very well spoken. I mean, Ashley did do that. She is sticking by her man, baby. She is sticking beside him. And that makes perfect sense because the cameras only show us what they want to show us. We have no idea for real what goes on behind the scenes before they start like rolling the camera. So I do get that. I understand that because I was thinking when she asked, do they know what you look like? Do the kids know what he looked like? And he said, I don't think so. That is what really got America in a frenzy because why would you say you don't think so when now all these pictures are resurfacing on the internet with you being in the kids' lives, like involved with them, so they definitely know what you look like. Now, what they didn't touch on is, okay, yes, he was helping a close friend out and he donated his sperm for that first child, but they ain't speak on those twins and how him and the friend had some kind of, you know, night together where they did the do together and she conceived these two twins, which are his. So the sperm wasn't donated. It was, um, yeah, like this was a mutual consent thing that happened between both of them one day night whenever but it happened so yeah see Ashley and Tyler didn't speak on that but the things they did speak on were very well very well said and like she said that's her husband def 
to death do us part and she signed up for all of it so i commend her and him and baby tyler got him a real one because yeah that's a lot that's a that's a lot to swallow when you don't have any kids and then the person that you marry has three kids potentially with somebody else who he never intentionally intended to be with but was helping at one time and then it turned into something else and then two more kids were conceived yeah it's a lot but I wish them nothing but the best of luck and all the happiness in the world because you know what this experience is definitely a once in a lifetime type of thing so kudos to them let's finish watching it let's see what's up with alex and tim let's 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 get to that on that side it feels so good i'm praying for y'all <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's just go ahead and wrap it up ramses and marissa ramses ended it with marissa because he said her energy was just too much for him and in the pods yes that's what he originally liked about her and he was cool with that however once they got out of the pods and they were together and you know he started to notice that the energy it would just be a lot for him and you know it took him a minute to arrive at that place but however he felt as though like it was just gonna be too much and yeah he was upset she was upset her mama was upset yeah it was just a whole yeah let's wrap it up that's really what it was she was just too much for him so she needs to find somebody that loves her for her and yeah that is going to accept her for who she is and how she is and you know whether her personality is too much like that is okay for whoever you know chooses to truly be with her and accept her Okay, so next up is Hannah. Baby, Hannah came on here and she said what she said and she stood by what she said. Homegirl said that she know a lot of things that she said on the show, how they came off was very rude and it looked at like she was being very, you know. However, Miss Ma'am said that she said what she said. Everything she said was true. It was just her delivery and how she said it. And she's working on that. And so that is something that she needs to work on. However, she said that Nick, he ain't never liked her for real anyways. He didn't care for how she looked and said she was built like a grenade. So she also said she found this journal that he had. And he said that he had wrote the journal um, 90 days before he even got on the show. But one of the... Uh, goals on the journal was saying how he wanted to be the most famous person off of love is blind season seven so she felt like oh this is this was all a show like baby you wasn't even really here for love for real you just wanted to come on here and become famous and yeah even though i felt like she did belittle him by a lot of things that she was saying she's right it was her delivery she it might have been true or she might have felt like it was true or that was her truth however like it's a nicer way to say things to people, you know, without it coming off so harsh and so rude. Because I think everybody felt like, yeah, she was extremely rude to him. All right, so next we have Monica and Steven. And yes, they clarified that Steven was actually at a sleep study. He did text somebody who he was already friends with from Instagram and it was just a casual conversation and then the conversation went left when the girl said something about she was into some weird fetishes and then that's when it kind of like went left and he was talking about things that he shouldn't have been talking about with this girl and he didn't have a lock on his phone he also said that you know what i mean he wasn't trying to hide anything he felt like he overcame you know some kind of you know some kind of struggle or demon by not even entertaining it by stopping it when he did stop it because he was you know engaged or had a fiance or whatever the case may be but maybe monica was not trying to hear that monica just felt like he just yeah he was wrong and he admitted it he even said like i don't even think people want to hear what i have to say like it doesn't matter what i say everybody has pretty much like made their judgment and baby they nailed steven to the cross however he did clarify that he was wrong and you know what i mean it, listen monica 
when when was the red flag she said there was no red flag he told her in the pods that he had cheated before and she said she appreciated him for telling her that so that was already like one red flag and i don't want to say it like once a cheater always a cheater however like he did repeat the same behavior well similar behavior he was entertaining something that he shouldn't have been entertaining like you knew very well what you had going on so um yeah, I guess y'all, it's just a this was definitely yes. Okay, Love Is Blind reunion was definitely yeah. I'm not mad at it. It's definitely worth the wait because I definitely wanted to hear everybody's like different perspective and views and stories of what really went down of what we really did not see. Um, baby, I've been waiting for Tim and Alex, so we gonna finish watching it, but. What are y'all thoughts? What are y'all thinking? I'm so glad. Listen, me and my homegirl were saying how we hoped that the Love is Blind reunion wasn't like um, Love Island USA reunion. That was trash, by the way. I don't know if anybody else watched that, but that was trash. The Love is Blind, I mean, the Love Island, um, that was, that was USA, like, it was good. But the reunion was trash, like, anyhow, so... I think we're almost done. Like, I think they have gotten through everybody. And Alex and Tim are the last. So, we're going to finish watching that. And then I'm going to sleep. And there's a reason I fell in love with this woman. And All right. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. So, we are finally here with Alex and Tim. And, baby, let me just tell y'all. It was some stuff that happened behind the scenes that we didn't see because they cut it out. But everybody was trying to figure out what happened when they went to Cabo, I guess, and she put his put her hand over his mouth. Well, yeah. So she said, like, no, I didn't assault him or anything like that. Basically, she was going through something. He was trying to figure out what it was. He was trying to be there for her and trying to help her. And I guess, you know, she just needed her time to you know, figure out what she had going on. I guess he kept pressing her and they got into an argument. It was like a big blowout and she didn't want production to, you know, catch that. You know, she didn't want to make him look bad or whatever. And she called him a little uh, B and he didn't like that. He didn't take to that uh, too kindly. So that was that was that situation. So basically he ended things with her. He didn't see, he didn't feel like, she was putting in as much effort as he was. Like he was, he felt like he was bending over backwards for her and he just wasn't getting the same thing in return. She was saying how, you know, she works a lot. So, you know, she was tired. She took a nap. She talked to his family for about six hours and took a nap because she had to go to another job. And it was just a mess. It was giving very much unresolved issues. And then, you know, Vanessa Lachey had to stop it and was like, hey, you know what? I think this is personal. You guys should talk about it off camera. And, you know, like, let's go ahead and wrap this up, baby. Both of them was looking at each other and was like, no, yeah, we probably should. But we're not, we not going to ever speak to each other again because y'all know that Tim made it very clear on national TV that he don't ever want to see her again. They could, they could both agree to that. So, yeah, they... They didn't rec reconcile. They didn't nothing. Like, they... Listen. <sighs> yeah, that was it, y'all. But I do want y'all to tell me, what were your thoughts about Alex's place and just Tim's whole demeanor? Because I know, you know, people are trying to paint him as the bad guy, but what do you think about, like, her and him saying how she didn't he didn't feel like she was you know giving the same thing in return as far as like the family and all of that stuff like how do y'all feel about her dad like how do y'all feel about that because she felt a way about meeting her dad and asking for you know her hand in marriage getting his blessing like don't don't take him through all of that if you knew that you had doubt so yeah I want to see what y'all say like what are y'all thoughts on that all right well that's all, folks. It's over, and it's time for me to go to bed. It's almost 10 o'clock. Tell me your thoughts. I need to know what you guys are thinking about this reunion. Baby, they had to cut the show short because Tim and Alex, the 
back and forth that they were doing. They, they was like, yeah, we feel like this needs to be a personal conversation off the show. Like, baby, neither one of them are going to speak off the show. It's written all over their face that they do not want to have another conversation with them. And the way Tim said um, before the reunion, when he ended it with Alex, it's clear that I never want to see you again. Like, baby, <laughs> he don't want to see her again. He don't want to talk to her again. He happy he got out of that. He feel how he feel. She feel how she feels. And, you know, it's unfortunate that some people did not find love on the show. But, I mean, that's expected. It's always maybe one or two people that find love every single time. I mean, everybody is not going to find love after they get out of the pods and mesh. Some, some are not going to make it to the altar. And that's totally to be expected. That's why we look at this show to see, like, okay... What's really finna happen? Once you get out those pods, baby, it's on and popping. However, that's it. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. And who is your favorite couple? Because it seems like they're really pushing that um that Garrett and I can't remember what her name is. I don't even know what her name is. Garrett and I don't know. They were they 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 made it, but they were my least favorite. They were kind of boring to me, but they are a beautiful couple. And yeah, I was rooting for Ashley and Tyler. Um, Monica and Steven, baby. Ooh, Hannah, she was just so cutthroat with uh, Nick. I mean, but she is who she is. And she said that. And I respect her for being who she is. However, it's always about delivery. But I think... You know, everybody can agree on that. That's something that a lot of people have to work on, even myself. When you say things, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So we have to work on our delivery, and I understand that. Um, who else? We had Nick and Hannah and Alex and Tim, Ashley and Tyler, Garrett, and I can't remember her, the other girl's name, Monica and Steven, and... Am I missing anybody? Leo and Brittany and yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to tell me who y'all favorite couple was and what you enjoyed most about the show. Bye.